One state lawmaker wants to ax the power to tax for a group who promotes Monroe's South Side. So is it about principle or prejudice? Fox 14's Bria Jones talks to the director of the South Side Economic Development District and the state rep in question. The Southside Economic Development District once again in the hot seat. District 14 Representative Jay Morris filing a bill to stop the group from creating any new taxes. They want to tax the, all these businesses that are in that group and they want them to collect sales tax taxes from uh, a lot of times from our most vulnerable citizens. Back in 2017, says 2% hotel occupancy tax passed. This year, the group was hoping to implement a little over a half a penny sales tax within the district. Said Executive Director Charles Diaz says the bill isn't fair. It's just disingenuous uh, at best, and I, I just, I don't give it a whole lot of credibility. They just don't want us as the minorities in this district to be in charge of any money or any funds. He says said wants to bring opportunity to the South Side, unlike those opposing the new tax. I haven't seen Jay Morris. I haven't seen Sue Nicholson cross over Louisville. And Eccles, like I said, he did a, um, I guess the only thing I can see is a safari tour. Morris agrees there should be growth on the South Side, but says without direction, it will only hurt businesses. It puts them at a competitive disadvantages to other businesses simply across the street. Uh, and, and there's no clear purpose for the tax. Something Thea says isn't true. People who want milk for a half cent, if it costs a, a, a do, a two dollars, they're not going to go for a penny burn 30 cents worth of gas. Reporting, Bria Jones, Fox 14 News. Representative Morris says that the bill allows for the current hotel occupancy tax to be grandfathered. However, all new taxes would have to come from the city. Theus says if need be, he plans to take legal action.